Chapter 8, Section 4, People, Places, and Vocabulary. The Rhine River is an important river in Europe. It, along with the Danube, formed part of the northern border of the Roman Empire. The Danube River is the second longest river in Europe that also formed part of the northern border of the Roman Empire. Puteoli is a port city on the Bay of Naples, and Ostia is an ancient city in Italy, and it was located on the plain of Latium at the mouth of the Tiber River. Remember, Rome was located about 15 miles up. Caligula was one of the Julio-Claudian emperors. He abolished sales tax, he increased the court's power, he allowed for people who had been exiled to return. Unfortunately, he was also known for his cruelty to family and to citizens. Nero was also one of the Julio-Claudian emperors. He started a major rebuilding program, he persecuted Christians, and he allowed slaves to file complaints. He killed his mother and two of his wives. Obviously, these emperors had some good and definitely some bad to them. Hadrian was one of the good emperors. He built Hadrian's Wall in Britain to keep out the invaders, and he made the Roman laws easier to understand. The Pax Romana is the Roman peace, and it was the 200 years of prosperity and unity. This started with the reign of Augustus and lasted until 180 AD. Before the Pax Romana, Rome had never been at peace for any long period of time. They were always fighting each other or fighting other enemies, and so this was a big deal. This allowed Rome to prosper, it allowed it to expand, and for the level of living, the quality of life, to improve as well. An aqueduct is a human-made channel for carrying water long distances. And currency is simply a system of money. When the Roman Empire all used the same currency, it made it much easier to trade and improve trade within the empire.